Jean has gone through her fair share of ups and downs throughout the years. And pre-Farina, she had an extremely wide range of community perceptions. Some people calling her one of the best standard banner units, and others ranking her as fairly low value, especially when compared to other animal options such as Sucrose, Kaza, or Venti. But regardless of your opinion of pre-Farina Jean, the truth now is clear. Jean is almost definitely the best standard banner 5 star in the game, and if you have Farina, she is likely a must build on your account. Welcome to Jello Impact, where we build and test every single character to help you decide who you want to wish for and build. Does anyone else have really high ping or those super annoying ping spikes? I hate when my dodges or character switches get delayed because my inputs are delayed by the ping. It's the most frustrating thing when the enemies hit you and you just know that you dodged, but it just didn't come out in time. Well, thankfully, there's an app called Gear Up Booster that solves this problem. This is a program that reduces lag and ping and increases is your network stability. As you can see before downloading the app, my ping was always over 100, if not all the way up to 140. And with a super easy, simple click of just pressing boost, it connects to my game. And now my ping is running at a very nice 69 average. I've seen it go all the way down to 62 and it never ever goes above 72. You might be able to get yours even lower because the best part is that you can download it completely for free. And yes, it even works for mobile. Try it out and let me know what your ping was before using it and what your ping was after. I'd love to see if it works for you and how good it can be. If you already have great internet, this program might not be for you, but it really helps if your internet is a bit spotty or if you're playing on a different server than the actual place you're playing in. There's also even certain artifact sets in the game that do ping dependent damage, so you might actually get a DPS increase from this app. Your network's also a lot more stable. You no longer have to worry about those drastic ping jumps. Gear Up Booster is trusted even by professional players who play League, Fortnite, FIFA, and of course, millions of Genshin Impact players around the globe. It focuses solely on enhancing your network connection with zero effect on the game itself. That means you get all of the improvement with zero risk for a ban. Save yourself some frustration and try out Gear Up Booster now. Use my link in the description and get your free trial. Starting with a quick kit overview and my pros and cons and my perceptions after testing her a lot these past couple weeks. She heals with her burst and with her normal attacks, with the main focus of her kit being the off-field team-wide healing from her burst. Very few characters in the game have powerful team-wide healing, and Jean is one of them. This, combined with the fact that she can hold the Viridus and Venera artifact set, makes her a spectacular role consolidator for Farina teams, because Farina drains your entire team health, and Jean can bring them all back to full, instantly gaining you a ton of fanfare points, making the buff Farina gives massive. Jean also provides, with her burst, a field that your on-field character can heal up in, which is very useful because your on-fielder will often be taking damage as they're attacking. It does have some downsides, being that it's almost anti-grouping. So if lightweight enemies come to the edge, it, they'll kind of get pushed out of it, dealing pretty anti-synergistically, whereas normally animal characters, you want to group enemies in, but Jean kind of keeps them out with her burst. Thus, she's generally better off used in single target scenarios or places where grouping doesn't matter as much. Her burst also has really interesting properties combined with characters like Bennett or Dory who self infuse your character as her burst has a cleanse and a very fast cleanse. So if you're able to apply pyro or electro whatever element to your character, she cleanses it off of her off of you and applies it to the enemy, creating what's known as the sunfire comp with Bennett, which we'll touch on a bit more later. Her skill, despite what the what the description may say, doesn't deal massive animo damage, but it is a nice quick way to generate energy for your team. And it does solid damage as does Jean's burst. Overall, she does non-zero damage because overall, both her healing and her damage scales off of attack, which is really, really nice. So if you wanna build max healing to maximize Farina's synergies, you also are getting some solid sub DPS damage from her. Her passives give her normal attacks, team-wide healing. Not usually that useful, although we'll talk on a couple teams where you can use it. And the second passive is the good one that regenerates energy for her burst after using it, which drastically lowers the energy cost, which is good because even with it, she has pretty high energy needs, which is another con. She also has pretty solid constellations, especially for a five-star standard banner unit or really any five-star unit released in the early meta. She obviously has huge team flexibility, which we'll get into next. Actually, let's talk about it right now. 
Pre Farina, her main claim to fame was the Sunfire comp, where Bennett applied Pyro to your character, and Jean cleansed the Pyro off of your character onto the enemy, thus applying a sort of an infinite loop, whereas Bennett reapplied and then she unapplied. And you could create a reaction soup of, of sorts with along with Singcho, or applying a ton of Pyro such that someone like Ganyu could melt. Aside from Raiden Sunfire, the team was largely impractical, but through the right rotations on this team, you can get both a Hydro Swirl and a Pyro Swirl. You'll want to start with Raiden's skill, Singcho's skill and Burst, because Electro and Hydro can coexist on the enemy. You want to Swirl with Jean's skill, then Bennett's skill and Burst to apply Pyro, then Burst with Jean, thus completing everything. You're going to get Overloads, Vaporizes, and it's just going to be a grand old time. It's a really, really strong team. I also really, really like it with Yolan for further buffing to Raiden's damage. The team slaps, I'm not gonna lie. The core of Bennett Jean is also extremely good at shredding elemental shields. And that's another really big pro that I should have talked about in the pro section, but hey, it's right here. She applies so much pyro through this combination that it can be very effective at say a cryo abyss lector's shield that is really 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 useful because the gene bennett core is pretty flexible you can feel free to mix and match with different other characters it's not and not really do a sunfire over vape team but do some other stuff there's no way i'll be able to talk about every single gene team in this guide so just know that once you do build your gene you can feel free to experiment a lot because she is an animal unit she can shred everything well not everything she can crush, just the elements that can be swirled but moving on to the teams that are really going to put her on the map now and those are the Farina teams. This is probably my favorite Novalette team. Obviously, it's going to be best if you have Novalette C1. Novalette C1 makes this team unbelievably insane. I personally don't have Novalette C1, so any showcases you see here are going to be using C0 Novalette. But without a C1, you're not going to have any interruption resistance, which is not that great. And you're losing a stack of his passive from having Farina Novalette. But because Novalette Farina are so powerful, and because Gene enables them so well, and Swirls Hydro, Swirls Electro, you're getting massive value from everyone on this team. Really, really great. You can swap Fischl. Because this team does so much damage, you can swap Fischl for someone like Zhongli and honestly not lose all that much. Like you lose a bunch of damage for sure, but the comfort you gain if you're fighting enemies that are very prone to staggering your Nouvellet, someone like Zhongli, someone like Layla, even someone like Dea can be a great slot in to give your Nouvellet interruption resistance. Jean can also be used with Ayaka Farina teams. Normally, if you're using Farina with Ayaka, you'd replace the Cryo slot with Charlotte. But if you want to use someone more damaging like Shenha, you want a more single target freeze team where maybe the grouping doesn't matter as much. Maybe there's still is some AoE or but like something like consecrated beast that you can't really group them together very much or ruin enemies but you still want the freeze this is going to be a really amazing team even though grouping is somewhat beneficial in this current abyss this was one of my top clearing ayaka teams on the first half this is the abyss with the seahorse first in case the abyss rotates by the time this video goes live anyways not necessarily the ceiling ayaka team but a really great option if you don't have kazua you want to free up your kazua for the second side the great thing about farina is that normally ayaka loves the damage bonus that kazua can provide from swirling and usually when you take Kazwa off the team the team really suffers for losing that damage bonus but because you have Farina on this team she gives a massive damage bonus and so you're not losing nearly as much by having Jean on the team and so the team damage doesn't suffer at all it has amazing damage so basically the less targets that there are the more this team will compare favorably versus the Kazwa variant she also works nicely paired with Wanderer or Zhao teams especially of course if you have Constellation 4 but even Constellation 2 giving Wanderer under his attack speed, providing that healing to Farina. It's not as good as using Bennett in this slot, but it might be a little bit more comfy in terms of team-wide healing. Still doesn't have that resistance to interruption. She can also be a replacement to Farazan. I wouldn't say the synergies on this team are the greatest because you're not using the Viridus and Venerer as well on this team because Farazan can always hold it for Farina. So she's kind of a little bit redundant on this team unless you have those higher constellations. Not my favorite Wanderer team, but still an option that you can use. And she does have synergy with Farazan. If you have her C six that if you have a well-built animal damage bonus gene her damage will actually be fairly relevant on this team so that's that's a nice a nice thing one of the teams that i absolutely love her on is it's almost a simplified version of the raiden sunfire team that we were looking at before it's basically a double hydro team and raiden does not have to be the final slot here it's just my new favorite version of a single target raiden team raiden providing energy for all of the team is really really nice and gene easily able to 
with Swirl, Hydro, and Electro. This team has nice tight rotations. It's a ton of fun. This is one team where you don't use Bennett. So Raiden will actually get more value of Engulfing Lightning if you have it. And Yolan and Farina, this it will benefit more from having five star damaging weapons than usual because they need less energy. It's a vertically scaling team. Now, that being said, I've included both footage of my engulfing lightning and aqua simulacra versions of this team where i use two five star weapons still no constellations as well as the catch and double favonius which obviously is way too much energy you should definitely be swapping that out for something else but both still cleared well under the recommended 36 star time like way way below and when you have start having some five star weapons it really starts to feel good because on a team like this normally you need the energy from favonius weapons but on this team you need way less energy so have so you get a lot more more value out of those five star weapons. Definitely don't have to use Raiden to utilize double hydro. Obviously, someone like Hu Tao, you're probably not going to get many pyro swirls, whereas Jean can swirl both electro and hydro at the same time. This team probably won't swirl pyro too much, but it's still an absolutely incredible team that dumpsters the abyss. You can put Yoimi on this team as well, although you are running without resistance interruption. Just be careful with that. Obviously, I have Yulan here, but you do not need to run Yulan for any of the teams that I've been talking about. You can run with Sing Cho and you get pros and cons, you get less damage, and the the loss of damage is more pronounced because Yolan benefits from the buffs that Farina is giving, but you get more interruption resistance and more damage mitigation. So it might be favorable to use Sing Cho. For both Yoimiya and Hu Tao, you can absolutely get away without interruption resistance, but it takes practice. Something to keep in mind. But because double hydro is so strong, like I wouldn't be surprised. Like I, you could throw Yaimiko on this team and it's going to perform well. going to have energy issues. You could swap out that for another hydro. So you have a triple hydro team also going to be really, really good. You can use Fischl. And again, I can't go through every single character that you can use in this last slot, but trust me, there's a lot. One of the funnier ones is using Candice. Candice infuses all your characters with normal attacks, so you can actually on-field Jean a little bit here. And if you run Jean on attack, 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 or attack, attack, crit, because of her on-field healing, you don't need to run healing bonus circlet, and you can get more. And if you level up her normal attacks, she'll actually do a lot of damage and even a lot of hydro damage with her normal attack because Farina actually gives so much damage percent that not running an elemental damage bonus goblet is fine you can run an attack goblet and then you can do both hydro damage and animo damage and have them both do respectable damage so this is actually a team where on fielding your gene will actually feel good Plus, you can get more skill uses, probably build less ER. If you're a dedicated Gene main and you want to use on field a Gene, I wouldn't be surprised if this was the best way to use on field or Gene. I don't have my Gene normal attacks leveled up and I do not have the resources to do it just for this video. But if you do, tr please try out this team and let me know how you find it. I think if you build these characters properly, it could actually be really good. I also wanted to point out that you can use Risley on this team instead of Ayaka. And I actually found it performed really, really well. Definitely one of the best better Risley Freeze teams that I've tried out. I really, really liked it. I didn't get to absolutely every single team that you can possibly make with Gene. It'd be impossible. So do let me know in the comments and I'll update the pinned comment or the replies to the pinned comment with some teams that sound really cool from you guys. I've been loving playing with Jean, especially with Farina, but you don't have to use her with Farina. She has great synergy with Bennett and just a really solid and I think underrated character, even pre Farina. I was testing her a bunch pre Farina and I actually think that I underrated her, especially on my last tier list and just how I talked about her previously. I think there's a lot of things that you can do to mitigate her not having grouping with enemy AI manipulation and just using her on more single target focused abysses. I think that Jean is a fantastic character and she's definitely my pick for my favorite standard banner unit character i think she's the strongest standard banner character if i had to rank her value and power level if you have farina she's top shelf value s tier value must build in my opinion you're gonna have so much more flexibility with the teams that you use farina on if you have access to Jean. and for overall power i don't think she hits like kazuo levels of power but i do think she hits you know especially considering her synergy with farina and how powerful farina is doing more damage than sing cho and yulon and buffing more than kazuo on the same team well Jean enables you to still have that VV shred on the team, she absolutely, in my opinion, belongs just one tier below. The same tier as where I would put Sucrose, where I would put Fischl, basically just one tier below Nahida, Kazuha, Yolan, etc. If we compare her to others, if you don't have Jean, Sayu is a decent replacement. Not a great replacement though. She does much less damage, much less team-wide healing, and Sayu really is sort of a different character. I like the Sayu teams where you actually use her on field. Stick around to the end for my four-star Farina video where I talk about my favorite 
favorite Sayu teams with Farina. I would say someone like Charlotte is actually a more direct competitor to Jean for Farina teams because while Sayu prefers to be a bit more on field or a bit more cycling through your characters is not as much big team wide healing. Well, she does have some, but it's not as potent. Charlotte really feels very similar in playstyle, and Charlotte's basically going to be your healer choice when you want that really good cryo application. But a lot of teams just don't want that. Like Raiden teams, that would be completely useless. And in some teams, it's sometimes good and sometimes not, depending. Also, Baiju, again, completely different element, completely different use case. Sometimes Baiju will be the better choice because you want that Dendro element, and sometimes Jean because you want that healing. There's very few characters that do exactly what Jean does right now. And if you don't have her, I'm uh, very sorry. I wish I could give you a copy. I have seven copies of Jean and still no Mona. So let me know in the comments if you want to trade. Don't get baited. You can't actually trade in this game. Please, Genshin give us a standard banner selector please if you're going to be using her in sunfire level 90 is very important it's the number one most important thing if you're not using in sunfire level 80 is fine getting that last ascension can be nice for that extra healing bonus when you're using her with Farina. i have found that you want all the healing you can get for talents unless you're going with the on field candace variation of gene you generally don't want to level up her normal attack it's not animo infused or anything it's just physical damage so her skill and burst are the main things you want to focus on they're generally equal importance in terms of damage even though i memed on her skill it actually does have a pretty high multiplier so maybe i should have cut that out but i thought it was funny so i'm gonna leave it in but just so you know it actually does have a very respectable multiplier you don't want to ignore that damage especially if you're using it two times in a rotation it's actually going to do more damage than your burst which is pretty cool because she's an attack scaler when you're using her with farina the damage is relevant so leveling up her skill and burst ooh, really good idea yeah Plus, you obviously get more healing from her burst if you level it up. So I would personally level up the burst as a higher importance than the skill, but the skill does a ton of damage, so you don't want to ignore it. For weapons, it is going to vary greatly depending on the team that you're using her on. In Sunfire teams, usually Favonius is going to be her best choice because she does have very high energy. But if you can get away with it, an elemental mastery focused weapon such as Iron Sting is really, really good. The thing is, I think even in Raiden teams, she still needs about 160 ER and you're just better off using Favonius than you are and, and using an, an EM Sans than you are using Iron Sting and an ER Sans similar to how you build Cosmo, but say you're using a Favonius on a different character, then the ER Sands combined with something like Iron Sting or the Umbrella Weapon is going to be a good choice and really not that much worse. For attack focused builds, the Aminoma is not too bad, especially when you can switch into her consistently and swirl. If you're using her outside of Double Animo or outside of Raiden, it's going to be really hard to get her energy needs. You all, you almost might have to run both an ER Sands and an ER Weapon to actually get her burst off cooldown. Make sure you don't neglect her ER, very, very important to have enough. I'm not going to give a recommendation for overall weapons because it really, really depends on the team that you're using, right? The Jade Cutter can be extremely good when you're when I was using her as just like a sub DPS VV shredder, especially on Raiden teams or double animo teams. Like if you're using her with Wanderer Farzan or something, being able to fit Jade Cutter onto your character, onto your gene is like so, so good. It, it is a very noticeable increase in damage. Obviously, something like Mist Blur is going to be great as well. So yeah, five star stat sticks, ER based weapons, EM based weapons. And I've saved my favorite for last. For Farina teams, Skyward Blade is by far my favorite weapon on her. Really high base attack for maximized healing, really high ER stat so that I can run attack sands on her, gives you some crit rate. The movement speed doesn't matter and the attack speed doesn't matter, but I love the, hot, the, ba the high base attack in the ER. If you're using her on Farina team, Teams and you don't have Skyward Blade, probably Favonius is best, but building the crit rate is kind of annoying. And if you use a crit rate circlet, building the crit rate can be kind of annoying. If you're playing her on a Raiden team or double animo team or whatever, or you're using an ER Sans, something that gives a lot of attack could be pretty good as well, such as the Ishin or the Aminoma. That's going to increase your healing and the damage that she does. I'll be sure to update the replies to the pinned comment if I learn anything that contradicts what I said in this video. So definitely check that out to make sure. But I, my goal with this is to help you understand understand the stats that you need because th these days your accounts are so different you may or may not have different five star or four star weapons the different play styles that she works on are so different the weapon choices for each each individual team are going to vary what you have available to you will vary so i feel like it's more important to teach you how to think about what to put on your gene versus exactly the weapon ranking but hopefully we gave you a pretty solid idea of where you want to go 
For artifact sets, almost always the Viridess and Venerer is going to be the best artifacts. If you're not using her with VV, you're probably using her on a team that already has VV, and then you can go for a more damaging set. If you're using her on, like, say, Wanderer Farizan, then maybe two piece attack, two piece attack is where you want to go to maximize healing, maximize damage. You could do something like two piece maidens or two piece Ocean Hued Clam. Generally, don't want to go four piece Ocean Hued Clam because her healing is very burst focused rather than sustained healing. So, yeah, generally stick to VV, but maybe, but even two piece attack, two piece maidens, if you're already using VV, is what you want to go for. For main stats, either attack or ER, whether depending whether or not what weapon you're using, whether you have enough ER on the team, attack percent goblet, gonna always be the best for Farina focus teams because she gets so much elemental damage percent from Farina and that you can run and you get your healing and, and damage from attack percent goblet. So attack percent goblet, definitely the way to go. Of course, if you're running Sunfire, it's going to be ER or EM and then EM goblet and EM circlet. But outside of Sunfire, attack percent, if you're not going Farina, you can go animal damage bonus here and you'll either want to go crit rate circlet for your Favonius if you're running Fat Fav or attack percent circlet or healing bonus circlet, depending on if you want to give a little more healing bonus or a little more damage. I've found both work perfectly fine. And she does have that healing bonus ascension stat, which is actually useful with Farina. So that's super nice. I found that if you try to run Jean on the build that had plenty of healing before, like ER, Animo Damage, Crit, she just wasn't healing enough. I found that I needed a lot of attack. So if you're lacking in healing, try use a weapon that gives more attack, try use artifacts that give more attack, and focus on crit as a secondary. For constellations, her C1 doesn't do too much. Her C2 can give some attack speed, which is can be nice for Raiden or for Wanderer, some characters like that. I activated this before starting my channel. Normally I don't activate standard banner constellations for five stars or any five star constellations. Um, C3, the usual talent level up. C4, animal res decreased by 40%. Seems insanely good. It is really good, but not quite as insane because you can't always make the best use of it. Like the enemies aren't always in the field, but still a great constellation nonetheless. I think it probably gains more value if you're using Furion on the team too, because previously it couldn't quite justify the slot over some other things. But now with Furion also giving the animal damage bonus or the damage percent bonus, sorry, this is a much better constellation, I think. Another talent level up. And then C6, decreasing incoming damage. Probably actually more relevant with Farina than it was pre-Farina. Wish I could activate it to show you, but then I wouldn't be able to unactivate it. So there it is. For future prospects, I actually think that she has a bit of good and bad for future prospects. On the good side, I think that there's going to be more and more characters that come out that actually want Farina on their best teams. And a lot of them are probably going to want Animal Res Shredding. There's a good chance that Jean will be a great partner to a lot of upcoming characters. I also think it's possible that Hoyoverse releases more and more team-wide healers. So it's possible that as future team-wide healers come out, maybe even more Animal team-wide healers that are limited five stars or that are just different, different characters, but allow you to run characters like Kazuha, characters like Sucrose, characters like Venti for the group that Jean will become less and less desirable or less and less necessary for a wide range because currently there's a lot of Farina teams that Jean makes work way better than other characters like sure Sayu can replace her but Sayu ultimately ends up being a pretty cope option for a lot of people hopefully Hoyoverse adds a standard banner five star selector so that you guys can all have that option to have a Jean if you don't have her but I think that there's going to be more and more other options in the future to make Jean less necessary for those teams already you can't run a different team wide healer plus a debuffer like Sucrose and Kazuha but yeah I think there's going to be more and more other options in the future so both good and bad i think she's gonna stay really strong forever though i think she might be the top standard banner unit for a long time and finally for overworld and aesthetic i mean i love jean's aesthetic and i love her for the overworld healing is so great for the overworld especially when you're using with farina um, double animo for the overworld for that increased movement speed really really nice you can also i didn't talk about double animo a ton for the abyss uh, i think i think it's solid but there's just so many options that you can't cover everything but let me know what your favorite gene teams are if you don't have gene check out my top farina teams with four stars only there's a lot of really cool teams in there overall such as hopper bloom and Naptional. give that a watch check out my patreon if you want to support me in the channel take care bye for now